y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm here with a new video today we'll be trying out a new skin tint from hourglass we'll be doing a wear test on the new veil hydrating skin tint before we get started if it is your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like button but anyway y'all let's jump right into today's review tinted moisturizer retails for 49 dollars. it's available in 18 shades the coverage is light it has a radiant finish it is also hydrating and vegan and this tinted moisturizer i went with the shade 15 15 is described as medium deep with warm undertones so. y'all looking at this um it does look very tiny but you do get your standard one ounce of product this is just in a tiny tube for whatever reason so don't be alarmed because when i seen this i was like wait a minute i know they're not charging 49 dollars for this but you do get your standard uh amount of product um, and today for primer i'm going to be using the tom ford um traceless soft matte primer what it looks like when I just squeeze it out the tube so it has a nice thick texture it's not runny the tinted moisturizer looks like blended out this is a really good shade um my coverage on this is definitely like you're gonna get your normal amount of coverage you would get with a tinted moisturizer depending on how much hyperpigmentation you have on your face you might need to go in with a lot um i still can see some of my skin peeking through like right here in this area about a pump and a half i feel like this is good i don't mind it looking like this it doesn't have to cover everything and also it is a tinted moisturizer so don't expect like foundation coverage and also i did pick up the new sh and i also picked up one of the new shades of loose powder that just um came out the same day as a tinted moisturizer this powder retails for 36 dollars. they have two added new shades um, the shade I picked up was translucent deep. This has a natural finish. It's talk free and it also is going to give you a flawless skin like appearance and the finish is natural. So y'all now that I have the powder home I feel like I should have went with a different shade. Um, I did in store pick up at Sephora. I didn't even look at um, any of the shades of the skin tint or the powder. I just went with deep and I don't know why I thought this would be a little bit lighter or at least yellow. Because a shade like this, I wouldn't use to set my concealer. This is a shade that is great for like all over. So I feel like I should have went with the other shade that they came out with. That might have been more my preference. And I'm trying to open this, y'all. Because they got this sealed tight. So this is what it looks like. Y'all, I'm just going to shake a little bit out. This is what deep looks like. Yeah, this is not a shade that I will use. back this is what my face looks like with the tinted moisturizer on and also i did set my uh, face with the powder what is the correct name the veil translucent setting powder anyway um i do like this tinted moisturizer a lot i love the finish of it right now it looks very natural it looks skin -like. very lightweight um when i first was reading about this tinted moisturizer i thought it was going to be like very radiant it was going to give me a healthy glow i don't even feel like it does that this is a nice natural finish so if you have oily skin don't worry well let me wait till the review is over right now i feel like this would work for oily skin um i really love the finish of it, it looks very nice and natural i feel like i did a really good job of picking the shade it is a tinted moisturizer so it don't have to be your exact shade match but i feel like i did really good as far as the shade like i, I really love the way that this looks um, as far as the powder i really do like this powder i really feel like it did give me a flawless finish and melted right into the skin also it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't look ashy right now I'm loving both products so of course I'm going to do my normal wear test and then I'll be back in a couple hours and we'll see how well did this hold up and I'll let y'all know my final thoughts so I'll see y'all in a few 
All right, y'all, I'm back after having this tinted moisturizer on for exactly nine hours. This is what my face looks like. I am starting to get shiny, my T-zone area. That's the typical spot where shine comes through. Um, outside of that, I feel like my face looks pretty damn good. Today is extremely hot and humid. Like, it was at least 98 degrees. Like, it is really hot outside. I did not think this was going to hold up on me all day. And to my surprise, it actually did. Also, this is transfer proof, which I was shocked about. Wearing this all day, it did not fade or separate. It hasn't settled into my pores. It made my pores look extremely large. Like, I am extremely impressed with this tinted moisturizer. I was on the fence. At first, I wasn't even going to waste my time and get it because I just didn't think... Um, this would be a uh, tinted moisturizer that I would like or work for me, but it actually held up. It's a skin tint that is great for all skin types, and I feel like this would be one that is definitely year-round for me, y'all. Like, I love it. I love the way that it looked when I first uh, left out this morning, I love the way that it looks now. Like, it looks really I good. could easily blot my face and continue to go on throughout the day. This looks really good, so I will highly, highly recommend um, this tinted moisturizer. So, my thoughts on the loose powder, I really like it as well. Um, I think I'm going to get the other shade that just recently came out i think it's a medium i don't know medium deep or medium i don't know i like my powders again to be yellow i like to set under my under eyes with that but anyway y'all so on a scale of one to ten i am going to give this tinted moisturizer a 10 it is absolutely worth picking up y'all see how well it held up all day um it looks very natural this also is a really good shade match it didn't fade separate didn't settle into any pores this has my stamp of approval and also, don't let the packaging fool you. Yes, it does look tiny and it looks mini size, but you do get your standard one ounce of product that you would get in a bottle. So yeah, that is it, y'all, for today's video. Y'all let me know in the comment section, do you plan on picking this up? Um, have you tried it out already? What are your thoughts? And most importantly, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.